Hello, welcome back to Access Granted. My name is Dave and I'm joined today by Nath. Hello. As always, Nath. Yes, welcome. normally, yes. Uh, Nath, Access Granted, the show that Donovan Rhodes mm -hmm. pauses The Witcher for. Oh, nice. He says, I paused The yeah. Witcher for this, which I read as like, I paused The Witcher for this, like, that's great. But now I'm thinking maybe he's gone, I paused The Witcher for this. Right, I see what you're saying. So... It's hard to tell with that punctuation. <laughs> it is hard to tell. If you get two screens, you don't have to pause The Witcher. You could... That's true. I mean, both The Witcher and this show are quite long form. And you know what I mean? That's like, true, yeah. You know, they're not very intense. No. Uh, we're back. Sorry we missed you last week. We had another bank holiday. Just took it off. Um, yeah. This is right here. But you know, um, we're back now, so that's good. We've got, we've got. What, did you get anything up to anything nice for your bank holiday? Uh, I, I finished all the Uncharted um, HD collection Excellent. games. So that was that was quite important, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, I've nearly finished Doom now. So. Wow, well, you've been very productive. I, and I did some gardening. I dug some bamboo out of my garden. It was a lot, it was a bit like a Dark Souls boss, man. Like, um, in more ways than one, right? So it looks like a Dark Souls boss, all under the ground. It's like evil and twisted. That's cool, yeah. And I had to dig into it. Also, my weapon broke, right? Because the spade I was using to dig it up yeah. broke. And and also, like the, you know, a lot of the Dark Souls games are kind of about guilt and stuff. Yeah. And it was this, <laughs> this is my fault because I didn't, Man. I should have done it last year, you know. This so analogy this, works perfectly. This bamboo was my fault. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, if you want to go onto my Twitter feed and see pictures of the vanquished bamboo, then you, I mean, if that's something you've got time for. Do I? <laughs> You can find Nate's Twitter handle in the description below. Yes. Uh, we've got all the usuals this week. We've got one on one Z, we've got your comments of the week, we've got the 301 Club and First. The time for truth is nearly here. Bringing tales of lies and fear to stand a chance at gaming heaven. Reveal to us your game confession. Gaming confessions, Nate. Yes. Uh, more of the same this week. More. Really? More Just soul more, searching. More of it. More worrying <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, admissions. So, most of which I've I've left out. Ryan Howe is first up with gaming confession. Back mm. when we were kids, my friend and I played the original Silent Hill. Okay. We decided to play it late at night for the first time. Good we only call. made it 15 minutes into the game before uh -huh. we became too scared to play anymore. The fog was something else, man. We were so scared that I decided to sleep against his bedroom door so we would know if something tried to get into his room. I've not picked the game up to this day. I am now 27. Oh my word. Which I just, I'm with you, brother. I feel man. you, I feel that. That, that reminds me, um, me and a friend called Matthew Elliott, who's also in games journalism as well. Uh, he and I went to university together and we were playing Silent Hill 2. Uh, and the beginning of that game, you get like the f one of the first things you get is a radio, and right. then the radio like hisses with static whenever you're near like one of the creatures. Nope. And then we went to the shop to get probably quavers and some <laughs> some sprite or something, uh, and we left my then girlfriend now wife. Right. And we, she doesn't play loads of games, thanks man. <laughs> uh, um, but we were like you know as a kind of she was watching us play. And we were like as if she was reading a book really. It's what right. it's like we were <laughs> yeah. she did for about she five was in years. The room. Reading a book. We were watching us play. And we were like if you want you know you can get us into the the town and we came back and she was actually playing it but she was she'd moved about five meters <laughs> she was absolutely terrified because that thing whenever it like Silent Hill's so good you just can't see where you're going and that thing goes and yeah. it's, it's brilliant no Great. not for me Silent Hill I'm all right just you can just tell me about it that's <laughs> fine <laughs> yeah sure yeah uh s jupiter 526 gaming confession when my daughter was two she fell in love with vivi when i played kingdom hearts 2 mm. so we decided to show her final fantasy 9. okay my husband and i had to narrate all of the characters since she couldn't read Aww. but she looked forward to watching vivi's story the game becomes a new kind of emotional when you're acting it out when mog became Medine and said her goodbye to Ico, oh. I was crying so hard I almost couldn't keep going. <laughs> oh man, that's an amazing I one. I mean, now that means nothing to you and I because no. we haven't played either of those games. But Rob, I just thought it was a Rob lovely story. Like sobbing. I know. I thought that was such a nice story, and like man. that's such a nice idea, like narrating <laughs> games for I, your. I was going to say, I don't think I've done anything that nice for my children ever. Yeah. Like you know, apart from just making them exist. Yeah. But so oh, thank that's you so really much lovely. for your story, and I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate and find out what all that means. I'll I'll speak to Holly yeah. and Rob. We'll just read the wiki. They can explain it. It's fine. And then uh, I'll probably be sobbing as well. Next up, we've got Play, who says, "Gaming confession: I broke up with my girlfriend back in 2011 because I wanted to spend some more time playing Skyrim." I regretted that after I finished the game. Don't let games ruin your relationship. <laughs> after I like that. The whole yeah. way through, he's like, "This is brilliant. Got all this time." <laughs> yeah. Oh man. God, and then at the end, it's like, mm. it's just a really sobering mm. one. I miss yeah. her. Also, like, 
I mean, in terms of finding a balance there, you probably could have, you know, there would have been a sweet spot where you yeah. didn't have to break up with it. It was sort of a test, wasn't it? Yeah. But, you know, hopefully you found other games yeah. <laughs> yeah. that have made it more worthwhile. Uh, Jay Lawrence. Gaming confession, I just got my best friend The Last of Us for his birthday nice. because it's a great game yes, and because I can make the clicker noises and I need him to oh. play the game so I can break out noises when he least expects it. No, that's nice. He doesn't know about this particular talent. I really mine. like that kind of, you know, the presents which are generous to everybody. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? I mean, that's, I don't think I'd ever, I've ever bought a friend a game for, for, as a present just yeah. because, you know. They're quite expensive. I don't like they? anyone that much, yeah, <laughs> yeah, blimey. Can you do the clicker noise? That's the most more important. <laughs> no, neither of us can no. do the No, I'm, let's, I'm, let's I'm, I'm hoping Jay Lawrence is, is better. Uh, right, stop that. <laughs> it is horrible. No. BOS Paladin, gaming confession. When I used to play FIFA 08 on my PS2, I would plug the second controller in and assign it to whatever team I was playing against in career mode. Yeah, yeah. Needless to say, my team won every game, but what was even more embarrassing was that I often had to keep circle strafing around whatever motionless player had the ball because I still couldn't tackle accurately. Sometimes it is quite hard to tackle people who aren't being controlled in FIFA. It makes you realise how much the game is doing for you. Yeah. It's just quite, quite I, hard. I pr I've been doing a FIFA uh, career and I'm pretty sure they've got rid of that second controller thing now. Uh, it makes sense, doesn't it? I Damn. mean, also, I mean, isn't that a bit empty? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, mean, I know, but it, it's funny how many of you, those you get, though. Like, we had the N NHL guy, didn't we, who was... Uh, I did that. He was, me. like, trying to get people to rage quit. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, uh, so that he could just uh, he could just get he could just get easy wins. Uh, you Spoony Bard says, Gaming Confession. When we were younger, my parents would always buy me and my brother a game for our birthdays, and every year, because they wanted it to be a surprise, my parents would ask me what game they should get him. Now, my brother loves racing games, so when they ask me, like the good brother I am, I always tell them to buy the newest first-person shooter or RPG. <laughs> my brother was always too polite to tell them they'd bought the wrong game. I always felt a little guilty, but hey, I had a great game collection as a kid. Oh my word. Did you ever get any uh, up to a, uh, any such shenanigans, Nathan? I'm an only yeah. child, so I got I all the, the games. I think the thing is, uh, <laughs> me and my brother were quite similar. He's two years older than me, so any game that we got was basically collective. But often right. games for, for the two of us, lots yeah. of two-player games. So no, we like kind of the same stuff, really. Did you work out some sort of way to, to co-op Doom? Uh, no, he, he didn't really play that much Doom, as far as I remember. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we actually he's a he's a narrow uh, he's a programmer, computer programmer, and right. it was his nascent computer ability which meant that we finally got two PCs networked so we could actually play Doom right uh, with with two people. Yeah. But, so I've got I've got him to thank for that. Right, last one this week is from AD Cakes, who says. Game confession, when I had a PS1, I used to babysit a friend's little brother some afternoons and he'd come over to play games on it. Mm -hmm. Now I really didn't like anyone playing on my PS1 back then except me, so when my friend's brother came over to play on the PS1, I purposely put the game discs in upside down so they wouldn't load. Oh, sorry, I then proceed to tell them the console was broken and he'd need to play outside instead. Yeah, and replace Which it. Is, you should probably replace it because you've broken it. Yeah, I'm such a big fan of these genius sort of ideas. Like just of, I would never have thought of that putting in the disc upside down. Do you know what's really bad? Like, we're talking about broken PlayStation 1s. Like, uh, again, at university, this is where I learned to play Tekken, I used to play with, uh, with Matt as well. Mm. And it was, it was our other friend, our other housemate's PlayStation 1. And we used to play with it in the kitchen, which was next to the fridge. I had a table, a TV, and the fridge. Yeah. And once, I think, I'm pretty Everything sure... Everything you need. I'm pretty sure it was Matthew Elliott who <laughs> opened the door of the fridge and like a big, it knocked into a big glass of squash, which oh, just God. poured inside the PlayStation One. But the, but the amazing thing is, uh, when he went to get it fixed, our friend who lived in Manchester, he said he went back to the shop. Like um, it was in the Affleck Palace, if anyone remembers that. So it was like a like a marketplace, like a bazaar. Mm. He said that. Um, I brought it to the place and said, mate, can you fix my PlayStation 1? I don't know what's wrong with it. And they, he said, the guy said, he was like pretending to be all technical. He's like, oh yeah, mm, yeah, I could probably, could probably do that. He said he went like just onto the high street to have a shop around because this guy told him to come back in two hours. Yeah. He saw him walking into a shop, <laughs> buying a new one. And then obviously with the intention of just bringing back the broken one and going, mate, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's broken. That guy should be, he should be emailing him with his That's uh, amazing. Gaming That's a fantastic confession. So gaming confessions this week. Thank you very much for sending them in. Um, some nice ones this week, I thought. Yeah. Nothing too much to, enjoy. To, to be too worried you know, about. If they're all going to be that nice, we're going to have to think of a better sting. Yeah. No, no. No one wants more stings. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for comments, comments of the week. week. Okay, comments of the week. 
let's crack on let's straight into Great Bear 2121. Okay. I often turn on the Friday feature playlist for my late night listening. Last mm -hmm. night I accidentally put the YouTube autoplay on instead and I was taken to access granted. I thought that this would be fine until I reached one on onesie and heard oh, Nathan's man. screams. I'm sorry. It suffice to say that I had to watch many more Friday features before I could actually go to sleep. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Well, it's the most intense part of our channel, really, one on ones. It's becoming a, you know, a, a focus point of fury yeah. and injustice. It's only a matter of time before it's bigger than the Friday feature. Oh, I of think, course, sure. yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But, a, long, um, a long time. I wonder if other people are using Rob's voice to lull them to sleep. Oh, man. Wouldn't that just give like you terrible ASMR. nightmares? That's all I yeah. think. Yeah, it would. He'd yeah. be there. Yeah, in the room with you. Don't want that. Uh, Kevin Cox, this channel needs more Let's Plays. The dynamic mm. between you guys is too great not to be utilised. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much, Kevin. But that yeah. leads me nicely onto this okay. comment from Bradley Cole, who says, just heard the news of Don't, Sh Don't Starve Shipwrecked coming to PS4. Please yeah. do a playthrough of this, and I think it's Dave's time to take the helm. Which I don't, well, we, I we don't passed, know about. We passed the pad, didn't we, with our Don't Starve Let's Play, which is still on the channel, if you've not seen it. Yes, you should Out definitely Outlast check it out. Outlast 2 is coming. The other thing which I'm really keen to do, I think... What's Outlast got to do with anything? Really? Well, the, Don't the, worry about the that. locked in. No one said any. Play. No one mentioned anything about that. Oh, yes, they did. You, you just haven't put it in the comments this week. But um, the other one we're going to hopefully be doing uh, must be when we get back from E3 now is we're going to try and catch up on Hitman because I think that'd be great, man. I think so. Because there'll all be like, you know, lots of different things we can do, lots of pathways that we can investigate. Yeah. Pressure on the person holding the pad. Yeah, I think definitely. I think and it'll we, be haven't, good. we haven't had a chance to do it yet. We, I we know that we're up. missing out on a great game. So, so that's so. like three episodes, you know, straight away that we can get. Yeah. We've had a few ideas for Let's Plays, actually, haven't we? A few mm. things. Hopefully, we can make them all come to fruition. I'm sure we'll have loads of time after E3. Definitely. That'll There'll be, be nothing, will there? Just, I think that's the end of the year, then. Yeah. Uh, Jackie Hernandez. Dave, you aren't tan. You are red. Lobster red. Really? Yeah. Are you red? I don't know. Oh, after your holiday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they they are, are a bit. Are, I mean, I would say blotchy more than... <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Like a lobster. Yeah, like a lobster. Like Lobsters a... are actually blue until that's... you boil them. Is that true? Because I've seen them in the aquarium and they weren't blue. That wasn't an aquarium, eh? <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> it's a giant. That was, a, was this pot. in a kitchen with like a, a man with a tall hat and a yeah, moustache? Yeah, he was like showing me a, like a menu of, the, <laughs> yeah, of, of yeah, everything that was the, at the aquarium. All the fishes that are at the aquarium. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, right, two tone Tommy Tum. Wow, that's an amazing name. Uh, can't stop looking at their hair. I watch these videos for their hair. Do you know, my, my, about... my hair went on a bit of an adventure earlier on this year, didn't it? Man. It just kept on, just kept on getting bigger and, you know. Both of us have hair, don't we? And, yeah. and I'm not always, I mean, speaking personally, not really an idea what to do with it. No, my, I mean, my hair is, you know, well, like, it, I, it was very much at the stage where I was almost embarrassed to, I spent the entire time I was having it cut, apologising. That's how bad it's gotten. I used to dread doing these because I would have to try and wrestle it into some kind of yeah. human-looking form. The number of times that I've we filmed it and access granted, and I've come to edit it, and then just I just go, oh, the whole time my hair was just sticking out here, and yeah. that's all I can look at. Yeah, which is funny because like, your hair is, as I've often said, like you know when a Lego man just puts like a oh yeah, the helmet on. Nice. His head, yeah. Oh, you like a lobster wearing a Lego man's <laughs> wig. Yeah. So great. If anyone's got some fan art, they want to draw. <laughs> Don't give people ideas. It must be really galling for Rob to look at us bemoaning our lustrous, I, well, thick hair. Well, I, yeah. Never mind, Rob. Right, let's move on quickly. The Purple Man Eater. I expect the ceilings at E3 to look like the art in the oh, Sistine man, Chapel, only swapped with video game characters. Or maybe just Kratos eviscerating everyone in the original painting of the Sistine Chapel, which I thought was a nice idea. Yeah. You're wrong, though. I'm sure I'm going to break, should we break the illusion? It's just, just it? mostly like... A rigging. Scaffolding. Yeah, yeah. rigging, that's the word. We, we'll take, we'll take very a Very disappointing. You, everyone's getting very excited about the ceilings at E3. It's going to be a huge video, I can tell. Maybe yeah. our biggest one for me too. Maybe, yeah. I'm looking up. Uh, GGP103, if Nathan, Nathan, that's Nathan what, with an that's F, what my aunt specifically, if Nathan loses next week, he has to wear the onesie for all of E3. Well, I think that's a bit strong. Why don't we see what happens, first of all? It's funny because I think someone also suggested that, because um, we played some VR when we went over to Milan for yes. the Champions League yeah, yeah, final, yeah. and Rob and I had a game, a, a sort of challenge of Headmaster. Someone suggested that whoever lost, which was me, should wear the onesie for the Champions League final, which right. we couldn't do because we didn't have it. Yeah, but also, yeah, well, it, it was so it was hot, so hot. Yeah, it would have died. died. And I think the same for E3. Like, I'm not, I can't get true. behind this 
this no. onesie, whoever, well, it's only for you. But uh, yeah. because you would just die. Yeah, you're know. you not the on board with that. Onesie is hot. LA is hot. Being actually dead. Thanks no, that's there. probably that's a good. step too far, isn't You've it? You've got my back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, J Rev X mm -hmm. has written us an amazing piece of prose. Okay. Uh, in my hopes to finally be featured since I'm at work when these come out, I've written you both a prophecy for next week. Hmm. When David and the Nath doth fight, their final fate decided. The onesie rests upon the head on which defeat resided. One player shines as champion, leaving legends in his wake, and redefines the scores of old, and to all boundaries break. And both shall seek this victory as it praises shall be grand. It's praises shall be grand, excuse me. Yeah. And though Dave's wins have been epic, I foresee Nate's time at hand. Well, isn't like that great? It's like a PS2 game which has been translated very quickly from Japanese. You know I, know what I mean, like an epic <laughs> fantasy game. Like, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm I sorry that it. I read it so poorly, but um, yeah, J Rev X, your your dreams come true. Well, you, you are have, on the show now. You've been featured, and you know. I hope your prophecy comes true as well. Absolutely. Like well, I know I don't. I don't know why. I, why I said right, that. even you know because otherwise it's just it's gonna get what we played what was the, the idea was to play best of 11 wasn't it in this season of one on ones yeah so you, I mean you're like halfway there I mean this is well three well yeah that's halfway to six which is halfway to win Good so, point. so <laughs> <laughs> gotta give it to him the man knows his maths <laughs> does that count as a win can I have that one uh, so it's, we gonna, go. it's gonna get embarrassing sooner or later isn't it well, you've got J Rev X on your side, and also you've got Gods of Odds, who says, right. come on everyone, let's support Nath, Team Please Nath. Do, yeah. And I don't know why Team Nath. he's I'm, written I'm that. the underdog, that's why. I'm because the underdog. And also, some of the luck that you've had has been absolutely outrageous. I can't think of any bit of luck that I've had. What about when I did that level so fast that the game punished me by killing me? What, what was game was this? M++. That was absolutely unbelievable, when I like went up the, yeah, exactly, that was nuts. That yeah, but don't crazy. forget that was the second time we played it. The first time I beat you, you and the capture didn't lovely. work. Yeah, well, because you got it wrong, but... That's not true. It was Rob. Anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's well, time see. to put these arguments to bed. Yeah, okay. It's time for one on Z. Uh, it's time... All right, let's do it. ...to choose the game... What we got? ...which shall decide. OK, we've got a new game. It's out this week. Dangerous Golf. This is gonna be... One on ones. Right, Dave, Dangerous Golf, yep. which is a game about indoor golf right. uh, where the ball is sometimes on fire. We've had a little game just so we could unlock um, some new levels. Yeah. We basically, but we don't really know what we're doing. No, as a, a theme on one on one Z, isn't it? We don't know what we're doing. We're really, and we're sorry. Yes. Okay. So this is the one that we have played. It's yes. Just a nice room with candles. Uh, so the, the the deal is that you kind of smash up the room for a bit. It's a bit like the crash mode in uh, Burnout. Yes. And these guys used to be at Criterion, the guys who made this game. So it's a bit like that. Imagine being a, a car, and now you're a golf ball and you're indoors. Okay, you're All right. up first. Oh, I really don't want to lose this week. Four in a row. I'm potentially four in a row. It's potentially what I'm looking at. I'm What's your... I've got to do the table, right? There's so much stuff around the outsides, but you've got to do the table. You've got to do the table. Bam. Smash down. Something's happened. 50 grand straight off the bat. I've made some fire. You've got your smash breaker. Okay, so what do I want to smash? I reckon if I got all of the vases is... Did you say... Why did you say vase? You I don't say, say I said, vase. To be, I said vases is. I've got nothing. Okay. Oh, I'm suddenly incredibly you, worried. You, you, your smash breaker is going all to pot here. Come on. Just hit something. All right, I've got one vases. Stop saying vase. Secret sauce. Oh. oh, but now you know where it is. I was just going to say, Nate, I've noticed an issue with this, yeah. And it is that you're going to go first every time, and then I'm going oh, to see what... Oh, that's not fair, though. I'm going to see what, what happens. Drops it in. This putting mechanic. David's go. What did I learn from seeing you do this a hole? Smash breaker in a bit. I know where what secret you know sauce me, is. Yeah, but I mean, it's quite a way off the beaten track. Oh, off the fairway. Okay. I got smish, a smish, a smish, a smish dude. Smash down. Also smash down. Ooh, what what have they got on that that table that was sort of fizzing oh, there? I don't know. It's time I mean, maybe for the smash the breaker. Shampers. 
Can I smash a piano? Because that's what I want to do. Do you uh, think? I'm trying to make that into the music. Oh. Can I play piano? Anymore? Smash it. No. Piano breaker. I mean, that's done all right. Did I get? I didn't get any points for that. So did you're I? not going for the secret sauce, even though it's twenty-five thousand. I was going to. Uh, what? It's twenty-five thousand. That's an interesting. Choice. How much? How much did you Maybe get? Maybe you could get back. Dave. Oh my god! I'm running you, out of smash. No, I, I'm running but now out. Now you're in the shell. The shelf's good, probably. I mean, Come on, we gotta smash everything. Why have you got everything. a silver thing? Why have you got like a silver? What's it happened? You just suddenly got loads of points. Yeah, quite right too. Boom, 158. It's the painting. What? The painting's 50,000 and a power shot. The scoring Hello. here is absolutely preposterous. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see how that affects the scores. For a paint, it's literally the painting that's made Shwammy. you Shwammy. You made me say one. Shwammy. Shwammy, what does that even mean? <laughs> Why so was the painting worth that much? Paintings are worth more than a secret source, you know, within the within the the world's the world's the rules of the world. What are we going to okay. do here, Nath? Am I going to take your go? Yes, I think that's fair, isn't it? And then so so it's one nil to you. We're doing three rounds. Right, we're going to do one. All okay, right, so if I win this round, I've won. Then. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's true. Right, Dave. just having a quick look around the room. Don't worry about it. I'm seeing a lot of no, a no lot hint of buttons. champagne. That's all I'm saying. No hint buttons. All right, that's fine. No hint buttons. Can There's I see gong anything? There. Gong. I mean, champagne's always fun. I'm just oh, gonna. Go gong, shall gong. I go the obvious route? I've gone the obvious route. Sometimes it's the right way. The glasses. Are awesome. I didn't get anything of note. You know, no big. Okay, no big scores yet. Here I, I am. I want some champagne. That's what's happening now. There's some more champagne. We got to do this, okay? Okay. Got to smash. I mean, this is a smash small and break room and a big breaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of. I mean, there's some damage to be done. I'm here. hoping to bounce off this. Going back in. Oh, oh, I wanted oh, to yeah. smash down. Don't what was that means. for? Don't know what it means. Fifty thousand. You smashed something down. There's a grand part of the court. We've got to smash over there. I mean, presumably, you, you, you want the painting. Come on. Well. Okay. The clock seven thousand. It's interesting having all this information early. And the clock struck. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Power, power shot. shot. Well, good power shooting. Thank you. So how did I do? Oh, I don't even... I'm stressed out now. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm gonna you going to replicate your shot and, and, then, and then try and do slightly better than you did. That's basically... I don't think there is a different way that you can approach this. I think there is, but I don't know what it is. M like, maybe you get more points off the... That's good. You might have got all the champagne in one go. No, not quite. I spent too long messing around over here. I was trying to bounce up and get the yeah, uh, I was thinking about the paintings. Too. I mean, I've got to come back though because I need these glasses. Look, somehow you've just rolled into them. It's smash But they're breaker. not dead. <laughs> it's just it's rolling. I've lost. I've lost <laughs> because it won't. Wait, okay. no. I think you've done it. it I've I done nothing. No, I've done I, nothing. I only got a very slightly bigger score than but this. But can I? I don't know how much you get for the putt, unless you miss. He's missed. He how missed? have I missed? He's missed. <laughs> In every other version of it, it's been automatic! <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's really short, but... Why do I get a minus score for missing? You've got to get in the onesie! For f They've got the skills to know When it's time to watch our next video They're the ones we love 301 Club Better than the comments above, 301. What are you doing? This is, I mean... You're not in the onesie. I'm actually a bit cross and sad, so <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I decided... I did. This is really hard to put on as well for a grown man. And I just decided I didn't want to. And just a second ago when I informed you of this, you were really angry. Do you see what I'm up against here? Do you, can you ever imagine me not putting on the onesie? Do you know, onesie? we played the last round of that stupid game, and I absolutely smashed you. <laughs> Yeah, you were so lucky. I know. What's that? I mean, what? Oh yeah, the painting. The painting's worth fifty thousand points. It, 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 Why yeah. is it? Why? It's canon. It's, it's gonna, canon. It's going to be worth more than some special sauce, isn't it? And why did I miss that putt? Every time we played it since that before, you hit the stick and it goes in. It just goes <laughs> in. I couldn't have aimed it any more at the hole. Look, I I was not going to take very much pleasure in this sure, one, was it? Because it was oh, a little yeah. bit like. I just won because the gods decided. They but were. I don't know about this onesie situation. But it's on, isn't it? It's one on. It's on me. One on onesie. Let's it's just on. get on with the 301 club. I can't talk to you anymore. 
Steel Angel Vicky, I am enraged. I've been refreshing my YouTube app for three hours straight whilst at work, only to come in at 410 views. Curse you, 301 Club. Mm. Which, so yeah, I'm sorry, you're Steel not, Angel Vicky, you did, not didn't in, make it. No, but the, the struggle is real. I just thought that, you know, people there should know. There are a lot know. of people around the world who do struggle with the time that we put this up. I know, we've not, we've not really thought of a way around that, have we? No. And we're probably not going to, <laughs> unfortunately. But if you like JRevX, you know, you can get into the show by other means with an amazing poem. <laughs> Just spend a few weeks uh, on a on a on a, a work, yeah, uh, and we'll feature if it. In you, the show. If anyone does like an oil painting of Dave and I, then you can be on the show. That would be amazing, and a real one, yeah, with real. And oil it needs paints. to be worth about fifty thousand dollars, not yeah. smash it with a board. <laughs> not Nathan will be furious. Right. Sorry. Right, here we are, the real entrance this week, Nath. Okay. First up, Jack Scully and Stevenson. I am far too heavily invested in getting into the three hundred one club, which just made me laugh because. Aww. No, it's, it no, is it's funny. good. Yeah, no, but it's great. So, so people do really seem to care, and it's nice when they have an awareness of how ridiculous. It is ridiculous, that is, yeah. but brilliant. Uh, Jamie Scrafton, three hundred one club. What comes next? Which I also yeah. enjoyed again. Yeah, that's I a think question I've been asking myself. He's been hit by the the sort of same realization. Yeah, as, I've uh, done it. Jack Scully and Stevenson. There. And now, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, Jamie. We have to work this out together. But the winner this week is Oliver TV who says Kring of 103 <laughs> <laughs> That is good. Okay, that is good. And if you don't uh, understand that, oh, well, you have to watch a couple of weeks ago. Know, a couple of weeks ago, Kring, which is still we, my number we, one We did actually favorite. fail to, I mean, if people are watching this and some people do and they say, what is the 301 Club about? What are you talking about? Yeah. And all it means is if you get to a video, normally access granted, especially if we're busy. Uh, and you're there before it's on 301 views. If you put a comment in and it's a good comment, then it might get read out in this little section. Yeah. It's for the people who arrive first and then have something cool to say. I thought we weren't talking about this. I don't, I don't, think, we could, I don't think we can explain it again. I think okay. if, we, if you don't I know... I think you have to keep explaining it. Really? Otherwise, yeah, because, you know, I mean, we did quite well for... We, the channel's been hopping along in subscribers recently. Those new guys might be watching this going, what are they talking about? I'm sure they are. I mean, are. even more than They've normal. been saying that all the way through that's this true. video. That's true, yeah, most of the comments are that. So yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. yeah, that is it. It's the elite of, of, of the elite, the best of the best, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, and this week our winner is Oliver TV. Wear your crown with pride. So all that's left, Nath, yeah. this week is uh, to talk oh. about what's coming up this week. That's one thing. Wow, my God. There's loads. Oh my God, it's flipping E3 next week, Dave. Oh, I'm, oh I'm scared. I'm scared. It looks like I've accidentally put myself on the wrong plane. I'm going to have to sort that out. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's happened. I'm going to have to sort that out. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you really should. I mean, we don't really have time to make access granted because you should be sorting that out. I know. But before E3, though, there's so much. We've got today, already on the channel, <gasps> ukulele. Holly and I went to... Uh, Can I? What? It doesn't really. It's a like. Ukulele. Yeah. So can you guys? Yeah. Holly and I went up to see um, those guys and uh, mm -hmm. saw an extended hands-on. You get this new gameplay, and Dave has done a lovely edit of different people talking about the game. I have. Yeah. It's um, well worth a watch, but the game is well worth keeping an eye on. Mm. It's looking really, really good. Actually, they've come and they've come on so far since last year. So that's exciting. We've got uh, Holly and you and I are going to be playing gonna, Overwatch. Just because everyone's, I've not played it yet, man. And everyone's I. talking about it. And yeah. we've been really busy. But you know, you and I like shooters a lot. Yeah. Uh, and Holly's uh, actually played it a bit. She was on a stream with some people. So she's going to come down and like kind of help us, you know, get started. Yeah. And then, I mean, what I'm hoping is that we're almost instantly better than Holly. But you know, at the beginning, she's going to be helping us out. But then, yeah. But then I just want to be better, and and, be and also I want to be better than you as well, Dave. Aren't we supposed to be a team? Right? Yeah. Uh, we've also got Rob's Friday feature. Yeah, we do. We've got the store, and hopefully some other, other things some as other well. Some other bits of pre-3 stuff, because Dave, you went to, uh, people can check this out right now, because you went to Media Molecule last week. Oh my God, I forgot about Dreams. Yeah, and you played Dreams. Uh, I believe you made a badger. I was busy, so I couldn't watch. I watched but, someone play Dreams. But, so, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, so, so um, that streams on the Media Molecule channel, uh, Media Molecule channel on YouTube right now. Yeah. And then also, I keep on doing this. I think I should set up and make it obvious that I'm trying to hold this up. Uh, but we're also hopefully going to be having some of that stuff on our channel as well. So it'll be like a nice cut down video. We're doing like uh, a highlight like reel. The best, yeah, the best bits. Although I'm editing it and it's quite long because yeah, you were like, this is I liked gold. all of it. But we seriously, it if you have any interest in dreams, you sh you've got to get over to the Media Molecule channel because they've got so much on there and I don't know if people realise that. Yeah. And if you're not interested in dreams, then you are wrong and you should watch this cut down of and when Holly and I went to play it. 
and yeah, you you I imagine will get really excited uh, about and it. Then, it's and looking amazing. then it's E3, and we're out. Uh, well, who knows when I'm going out? But with uh, Dave and, and Holly uh, will be there in time for all the conferences. So uh, we, we're still putting together our plan of kind of like what videos are going to go up at which time. But almost certainly, we will have. You can consider Monday to Friday next week will be our coverage for, of the conferences, uh, and then live from the show floor. And then, as ever with E3, we're going to have uh, kind of hands-on impressions, uh, interviews, and just kind of bits and pieces from the show. Probably like when we come back for a couple of weeks as well, because we normally get uh, we normally have like three or four videos a day while we're out there, uh, and then up to two or three videos a day once we get back, just kind of clearing everything up. So if there's stuff that you'd like us to go and find and have a look at. Uh, let us know if you've got any tips for Overwatch. What characters we should be? What characters we shouldn't oh, yeah, be? That's important. Uh, then do let us know. We'll be filming that I think on Wednesday, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. So before Wednesday, that would be amazing. Uh, and j if you've got anything just to contribute to the regular sections on this program, uh, gaming confessions are always much required. Comments on anything that we've been up to, and also Dave, I worked at home last week, and I found my. I mentioned my wife earlier on, in hysterics laughing at an earlier episode of this show because of Badger the Badger. Do you remember yeah. Badger the Badger? I do. Oh, I spent well. a whole day making that. I know, no Steve. one asked you to. Uh, it's such a shame that we will never see that again on so the channel. So if you have a question no. to put to Delsin, no. Rodent, but he can only say yes or no, then just let us know. Just put a little comment to Del a little question to Delson. Yeah. Something he can say yes or no and to. And it may or may not. Appear it might on pop the up next week. Probably not though. I love that thing. It's really it's absolutely deranged. It's brilliant. It's, it's really weird. Yeah. But I really like it. Okay, well, that's good. So thank you so much for watching this week. Do all the things Nath just said. Yeah. And uh, And support me, the underdog, the official underdog. You've only got two more to go until you've won. I know. Something's Imagine. Gone wrong. <laughs>